As I climb down a ladder, I just close my eyes and start visualizing myself climbing down a ladder and I get to the bottom rung, I sort of spiral backwards. I kind of just dive backwards and each, and then each circle gets bigger and bigger, a little slower and slower and eventually I just kind of drift off and the next thing I know I open my eyes and it could be five minutes or five hours later. Whatever was coming through was a, was a master, absolute master of manipulation. Um, they. They or it knew something. I allow it to occur, and I can feel the energy coming around me. It's sort of like, not like sticking your finger in a wall socket, but something less than that, and you feel it in you. You know it's present. How do you know who you're talking to? Uh, that's one of the questions I ask these people. Uh, how, how can you really be sure of the identity of this entity? That ought to frighten you. Maybe they're misrepresenting themselves. They've got no ID. If you put their statements under a microscope, you'll find, especially the ones about past life, you find out that something is wrong here, that the picture is not complete. Without a doubt, if it is for real, you'll be opening up doors that are meant to remain closed, just like I did, and eventually you'll have spirit entities controlling you. They say that there's like not a lot of difference in some ways. Actually, they're talking to me about it right now. Um... It is called channeling, where the physical body is only the vehicle. The vocal cords resound with non-physical voices. The phenomenon is widespread. There are thousands of channelers in North America alone, and millions of adherents come from all walks of life seeking the wisdom of the so-called spirit guides. Who are these voices? Extraterrestrials? Ascended masters? Highly evolved spirit beings? These are just some of their claims. It will laugh. It will laugh. The practice itself is difficult for any of us to accept at face value. Is the supernatural interacting with the natural? Are spirits really in contact with humans? If so, who are the voices making the claims and providing the information?